Kilo and uh, Is back uh, from the highway, and we were worried that it would go well, it's just, or stupid because we would have to share it. Just works out that our uh, vacation last week of this. July, first week of August, so that's always in between the meetings. Yep, oh, okay. I was gonna say the diet of the land's probably right there. <laughs> makes sense. And we're not upset. Oh, that, that, oh, there's a nice, normal. cheerful face. Yeah, that's normal face. <laughs> hello, hello, hello there, sir. <laughs> I'm supposed to be sitting down. <laughs> Nate, is there anybody else on? Uh, I don't know who this is. Okay. Sure, I just looked over there for. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. You ready? She's kind of tricking us tonight. Beth, are you guys ready? Okay. At this time, I will call the June meeting of the East Tenfield Township Zoning Hearing Board to order. Members of the board who are present this evening are Mr. Hansen, Mr. Kyle, Mr. Bingham, and myself. On Zoom, we have Mr. Luce. We also have with us tonight our legal counsel, Jason Hess, our township planner, Nate Sturgis and our zoning officer, new zoning officer, Beth Graham. We also have present with us this evening, a court reporter. We have no new cases this evening, but we do have old business that we must attend to. So this board will hear the um, old business in an informal manner without strict compliance with the rules procedure used in a court trial. Since her, the testimony has been concluded uh, and there are no additional witnesses, we will proceed to um, that part where I asked anybody that does make a statement this evening that they first state his or her name and address for the court reporter. Now also at this time, anyone and everyone in the audience or on Zoom uh, would you please rise? Under penalties of perjury, do you swear or affirm that the testimony you will give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? If so, please say I do. Okay, at this time then, please rise. We'll salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Beth. Yes. The case this evening had been advertised and posted in accordance with the Sunshine Law and the MPC. It has. Gentlemen, you had received the May 23rd, 2000. 22 board minutes from the secretary. No additions, deletions, or corrections. I'll ask for a motion to approve the board May 23rd minutes. I moved. Moved by Mr. Kyle. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Bingham. Any discussion, gentlemen? Seeing that, Mr. Hansen? In favor. Mr. Kyle? In favor. Mr. Bingham? In favor. Mr. Luce? In favor. Yay. Uh, and I'll also vote in favor. The May 23rd, 2022 board minutes have been approved by a vote of five zero. Okay. Mr. Graham old business we have case number 2449 the champ group 543 champ boulevard seeking modifications of conditions to their special exception approval okay uh this case was heard at the last meeting um we took time to uh, render a decision so at this time i will turn it over to our solicitor mr s Yes, thank you. Um, 
for for the benefit of uh, the, the applicant, are you here on behalf of the applicant yes. and, and anybody else um, uh, from the public? Um, the board, like uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman Hur said, it um, took the uh, allotted 45 days to render its decision in this matter. Um, the uh, a zoning board under law is considered a quasi judicial agency, which means that they have the ability to deliberate um, uh, outside of a public meeting. And so over the last month, they have taken time to deliberate on um, the application. And um, it is also our practice to, uh, to for my office to, to speak with or at least communicate in some manner with each each member and make sure that they're in affirmance with what uh, a, a decision that's um, been made. So the, the board has taken time to deliberate and uh, it is my understanding that they're all in agreement on a uh, proposed decision. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the, um, what um, I believe is what the board uh, is, is in agreement with um, into the record. Uh, and then the board, if, if they uh, believe that's correct, they can make a motion to approve the decision. So, um, so the order in uh, this case is Based upon the foregoing findings of fact and conclusions of law, the Zoning Hearing Board of the Township of East Hempfield hereby grants the application of the CHAMP Group Incorporated to permit the replacement of two weddings and special events tents on the property with two permanent all season pavilions and to extend the season in which weddings and special events may occur by modifying conditions numbers one, two, 13, 16, 17 and 17 imposed in case number 2373 and by adding an additional condition requested by applicants in part as follows. The request to modify condition number one is denied as unnecessary. Such language is already included in the standard conditions the board assigns to all decisions. Condition number two is modified to read, applicants shall be able to use the existing seasonal tents, proposed pavilions, and outdoor areas of the property between April 1 and October 31st. The proposed uh, pavilion shall be permanent structures and shall be located where the existing seasonal tents exist as shown on the plans and, ex and exhibits submitted in case number 2373. If the applicant does not construct the pavilions, the existing conditions under case number 2373 to allow the seasonal tents shall continue. Condition number 13 is modified to read, the applicant shall cause to be used within seasonal tent number two and once constructed pavilion number two, a house sound system with a programmable limiter which is which is locked with a password and which controls the maximum volume and frequency distribution of the sound to protect the neighbors and assure compliance with the decision in case number 2373 and this decision in case number 2449. Condition number 16 is modified to read the tent closer to state route 283 and the proposed pavilion closer to state route 283, pavilion two, once constructed shall be used for dance music. Condition number 17 is modified to read, any music in tent one and pavilion one once constructed shall not be dance music and shall be limited to background music. Additionally, the board grants the request by applicant under section 270-9.1 D13A of the zoning ordinance to allow for an extension of one year following the issuance of the permit to complete construction such that all construction must be completed within two years from the date of the issuance of the permit. The granting of the requested modifications in part is subject to the following conditions and safeguards which the board deems necessary to protect the surrounding neighborhood and promote the purposes of the zoning ordinance and the MPC. One, applicants shall at all times comply with and adhere to the representations contained in its application and with the evidence presented to the board at the hearing held on May 23rd, 2022, with respect to the proposed weddings and special events to be held on the property. 
two. No more than two pavilions shall be permitted and constructed on the property. Said pavilion shall be located where the existing seasonal tents are presently located as shown on plans and exhibits submitted in case number 2373. The applicant may use the existing tents prior to and during construction of the proposed pavilions, but at no time shall the tents and the constructed pavilions be in service at the same time, i.e. the tents must be removed before pavilions are put into use. Prior to the construction of pavilion number two, the outdoor area slash patio may be used for weddings and special events. Three, the existing tents may be relocated temporarily while the proposed pavilions one and two are under construction. However, they must be relocated close to the original location as approved in case number 2373 and cannot be moved closer to the northern property line. Four, applicants should comply with the written decision and conditions in case number 2373 except to the extent modified by the decision and conditions in this case 2449 and shall comply with the written decision and conditions in this case number 2449. Number five, music will be limited to DJ music only, no bands are permitted. Six, if the property is sold, the special exception granted in case number 2373 as modified in this case number 2449 Will, will remain as long as the new owner uses the property as a wedding venue, subject to condition number seven. Number seven, if the property is sold and new owners do not use the property as a wedding venue within six months from the transfer of the property, the special exception granted in case number 2373 and is modified in this case 2449 will lapse. Eight, Applicants shall comply with all applicable local, county, state, and federal laws, ordinances, regulations, and, and requirements. Nine, any violation of these conditions shall be considered a violation of the zoning ordinance and shall be subject to penalties and remedies contained in the zoning ordinance and in the MPC. Ten, all conditions imposed by the board shall be referenced as plan notes on any, all final subdivision and or land development plans hereafter recorded for the property or any phase or part thereof. 11, the foregoing decision shall be binding upon the applicant and the landowner and their respective successors and assigns. 12, the conditions contained in this decision shall not be deemed to limit, restrict, diminish, impair, or otherwise affect any statutory administrative or, com or common law rights or remedies seeking legal, equitable, or other relief, which any person or any entity, including the township, may have as a result of the use of the property for weddings and special events. And that concludes the order and the proposed decision. Gentlemen, you've heard the proposed decision that each of us has discussed individually with the solicitor. Uh, if there's no questions of the solicitor, I'd listen to a motion if there is one. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Um, motion made by Mr. Hansen, second by Mr. Bingham to approve the decision as uh, presented by the solicitor. Any discussion? Uh, first of all, I just want to add to the record at the last meeting, um, an individual on Zoom had questioned about the number of complaints with, uh, of noise with the township. We had requested that um, Nate Sturgis, who was the zoning officer at the time, to ask the de police department what they had on file. Police department indicated that they have had only three uh, complaints since the wedding venue has taken place. Uh, one of those complaints happened to be from an individual who was staying at the uh, hotel. Second, uh, also wanted on the record that uh, the Zoom comment indicated that the police department had stated to the individual that they only respond when there are three complaints um, lobbied, lack of a better word, uh, to the um, or filed with the police department, the police department responded to that statement by saying that they respond to all noise ordinance or noise violations, uh, no matter how many individuals um, 
file a, a complaint. So I just wanted that on the record. Any other discussion? With that, is there someone here from the CHAMP group? Would you mind going to the microphone, stating your name and address for the record, please? My name is Jacques Abreu. Would you like me to spell that for you? Okay. And I'm at 543 CHAMP Boulevard. That's the address of the hotel. Okay. Uh, Labreu? Abreu. Abreu. Excuse me. Mr. Abreu, you heard the uh, proposed decision with the conditions. Does the uh, CHAMP group agree to the conditions that um, were, that are being proposed for this decision? May I ask a clarification? Sure. On one point. Um, it was indicated that the programmable limiter was going to be enforced. Was that contingent upon the build or is that something that is enforceable current? For clarification. I presumed, I'll look at Mr. Hansen. My, my presumption is since you have asked for modifications of the original decision, because there were complaints that it goes into effect if this decision is approved by the board. Are there opportunities for us to have any further discussion or is that at this point, the only thing we would agree upon at this time? The, we cannot, testimony is concluded. Um, so it's, I would just like it on the minutes to show whether um, the CHAMP group has issues with the, the conditions as so stated. I think what Mr. Hansen said is that if you proceed with the permanent structures, then that's one of the conditions for it. If you don't, then... Um, if you don't proceed with the permanent structures, everything reverts back to the old, okay. the original. Okay. If right, you that's, what, that's what's in the, I, I was just checking on that. And the, that's one of the things that was added right, to the right. order that so, if the, if it doesn't, if the construction does not uh, occur, that the applicant is, is subject to the conditions in case 2373. The reason I asked for that to be included was because of the noise complaints. Though I will say three over two years is pretty minimal. However, there were complaints. I did find it ironic that one was from the customer at the hotel themselves was complaining about the music, but. I'm glad that you put that on the record. Thank you, that there was truly only three complaints. Um, thank you. So does the CHAMP group uh, agree with those conditions? You will? Thank you. With that, anything else, gentlemen? Seeing none, Mr. Hansen. In favor. Mr. Kyle. In favor. Mr. Bingham. In favor. Mr. Luce. In favor. I'll also vote in favor. Your request for a modification uh, to a prior decision in case number 2449 has been approved with the condition so stated. Thank you. Can you get a copy of that? Um, if you want to wait around a little bit, uh, we will sign them and then you can take one with you. Ms. Graham, any other business? No. Okay, well, now we won't, we will put you on the hot spot uh, since there's no other business. Meeting next month. Yes, there is one on the 18th. See that we get a new zoning officer and she knows what's happening in the next month. Like the last one, that three months in a row. Me, there would be more the questions. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> yeah, but see, for three months in a row, he said there right. possibly won't be one, and we've had one every month. Right. This way, we know it. So, thank you. So, ask, uh, I'm going to leave you out of this one, Miss Graham. I'll give this one to Nate. Thank you. So, anything that's any comments are made on Zoom? 
should become part of the record. Is that sent or is that put with the record? Is it put with the case? What happens with that information? Um, I have them saved to our files for the case. Okay. Um, or to you and just for uh, Nate microphone, please. Uh, yeah, they're in the township file. I'm not sure if Jason keeps them for anything or. Yeah, I mean, I had asked that they be saved at least long enough in case there there's an appeal. Correct. Um, and That's why I was wondering because it is part actually part of the record uh, legally now with Zoom. So. so the township is putting them in um, 2449's yes. uh, case file. Yep. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Cheryl, next month, you're okay. Jason? Yes, sir. Anyone? Mr. Luce, could you show up? I will not be there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. You too? Okay. I'm good. Okay. So next month's meeting. November July 18th. Is that what it is? July 18th. Thank you, everyone. This Meeting stands adjourned. Almost got your attention.